My main aim in life was to be the most brilliant ballerina of all time, so I went to the Australian Ballet School. And after about six months, I decided that probably wasn't the career for me. So I came to La Trobe, where there were two buildings on 484 acres, and only 400 students, so we had more than an acre each. I did economics. It was the best thing I ever did. Coming to La Trobe gave me the confidence, actually, to, to go off and do something else. When I went from La Trobe to the London School of Economics, I did my degree and I met an Englishman and married an Englishman. Ah, oh dear, fancy marrying a pond, but there you go. I was the first woman chief economist in the city of London. I joined Deutsche Bank about three weeks before the big stock market crash in 87. And then I had a career change. I'd done a lot of television and radio as a guest and I went to Bloomberg. I was left to get uh, across the US a nationwide show on air in six weeks, half hour business show. I was terrified, but actually, you know, when you're terrified, you just have to grasp it. There wasn't anyone else going to do it for me. The next big job I had was um, Global Head of Research at HSBC. I took on the job of Chairman of the Society of Business Economists in the UK. It had been going 60 years and I was the first female to take on this role. But as time went on, there aren't that many women economists and I found I became a taller and taller poppy and then it becomes difficult because people get envious. But I just look at it and I think it's their problem, not mine. We went to the palace. The queen gave me my OBE and I look back and I think, here was a little girl from Fitzroy State School in Uni High. And there we are, collecting the OBE, mother in the front row. And I think throughout my whole career and my whole life, doing the same thing as everyone else isn't what I do. You will hit glass ceilings, but don't keep beating your head against that glass ceiling. Move sideways, do something else, take a risk. You can do anything.